This video demonstrates how to link and compare a Revit and eTabs model. We open an existing Revit model, go to the add-ins tab, and find our Visicon uh, tools. In this instance, we don't need access to all of the detailed um, family and instance parameters once we export the model. So we're going to use the export, the quick export option. The Revit model launches in Visicon. We'll expand the app and zoom in. We can see that there are some additional objects here, so we'll look to see what they are. We see their annotations or, or uh, bounding box objects. So I go to visibility, select to turn those annotations off so that I have a cleaner screen. So now we have our Revit model in Visicon. As a next step, we'll bring in the eTabs file. So we go to file. We want to merge in the new eTabs model. If we select the existing model, the geometry of the eTabs model gets merged into this uh, Revit model. In our case, we want to go ahead and select the new option because we want the eTabs model to be handled uh, as a separate independent uh, model. And we'll pick the latest eTabs model in E2K format. We see now that the eTabs model has also been brought in. And what I'm going to do is first turn off, from a visibility perspective, all of the loads. So we're only comparing geometry in Revit on the left against geometry in eTabs on the right. As a next step, I want to change the color of each of these models so that they have greater contrast. So if I open up my project browser, go to the models um, icon, I can select each of the models and I'm going to assign the yellow to the Revit model and blue to the eTabs model. This way I can clearly see the difference. As a next step, we'll select the eTabs model. So our purpose is always to align and move the eTabs geometry because it's simpler than the Revit geometry. Go to our alignment tab. We've already selected the model. So now we're going to align by objects. I'm going to select this column, outer first first outer column in the eTabs model and select the same in the Revit model. And you can see immediately it aligns the, uh, the two models. So we'll go ahead and accept. But we notice that, okay, so these interior columns are lined up, but there seems to be a vertical or a z-axis uh, discrepancy. So we're going to repeat the alignment process, and this time we're going to align the typical slabs, assuming that the typical slabs are correct, that there were some changes at, at the roof level. So again, I select the eTabs model, do align by object, start by grabbing the eTabs slab, and then select the Revit slab. You can see now that the slabs are lined up, but there's an additional X and Y translation just because the slab boundaries are a little bit different and the centers of each are, are slightly offset. We want to zero out the X and Y translation and just take over the Z between the two slabs and accept. So now we have our two models perfectly aligned. So all of the typical levels are um, seem to be okay. And we immediately see some discrepancies. So at this first level, there's a difference. So this is where my Revit model is. And this is where my eTabs model is. So one of the two needs to be reconciled. I can also immediately see that my outer columns at one of the corners has been shifted. So my eTabs model models the outer column further out than what's modeled in my e, uh, Revit model. If we look in the, the middle section of columns here, we see there's a change in column size, and, or let's say in, in rotation as well as some additional changes in column location. So this is a great tool, an easy way to be able to reconcile exactly where your changes are. Plus, I can see that here, the roof of the Revit model has been raised and is much higher than what I had assumed in my last eTabs model. So again, another area of uh, modification that I need to make in my models. If I want to identify and just do comparison of single components, I would go to visibility, for example, we'll turn off all of our slabs, columns, 
um, let's say those are link we want to keep the link beams so this is looking at just the core walls and we can see there's actually fairly good alignments between the assumption we've made in the um, on the Revit side as well as on the ETAP side. So in conclusion, you can use Visicon to very easily bring in any set of Revit models, ETABs models, ADAPT models, and do a quick geometric comparison. Thank you.